have you, um, have you tried rock on? The what? Rock on? What's that? What? Rock on these nuts? <laughs> We've got an absolute full house. Make some noise! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we get into our amazing panelists, we want to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to the volunteers and organisers. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> my name's Andy True, and it's my absolute honour to announce these amazing guys. You've seen them on your screens, but today you're going to see them in real life at Smash 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, give it up for Trash Taste, Joe and the Adam and Jim, Enjoy that sneak peek? Yeah! Yeah, so, um, so that's a special that uh, we wanted to show to you guys. That's going to be the next special that we're going to be releasing. Uh, it's going to be, as you see, the Japan trip special, where we drive from the most southern point of Japan to the most northern point of Japan. And as you can see of how many things you saw in the trailer, it's our most ambitious special yet. Uh, we, it was, we had like nine days of footage, right, or something like that? Yeah, it was very long. <laughs> it was like nine, ten days of traveling and doing stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're really excited to bring it out, hopefully soon, and uh, yeah, for you guys to enjoy it. So hopefully you guys enjoy when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, as you can see... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, woo. Woo for us. But as you can see, it's not just the three of us are there. We have a very special guest. It's our basically you have a live guest podcast because uh, Kevin is joining us once again. Hey, <laughs> I'm Gans, mate. <laughs> uh, I like how we've separated the Aussies and the Brits on one side, yeah. as you uh, should. Represent. Yeah, as you should. Aussies represent. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Good. It's been exhausting. <laughs> this, this is so tiring, but it's so good. I mean, when people are like, oh my god, I, I, I love your videos, I'm like, what? They're, they're dog shit. <laughs> uh, no, I appreciate it. It's, it's uh, amazing being here, and uh, being here in uh, Australia with Kevin as well, his home turf. Yeah. And, and Joey. And Joey, of course. Whatever, whatever. Joey doesn't count. Jo Joey has Japan, so well, it's like... <laughs> you're not getting out of line. <laughs> no. it's, it's more of a home turf for me than it is for Kevin, technically speaking. I guess so. Yeah. 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 Melbourne represent? <laughs> And uh, you're not going to do a Perth represent? I was going to literally just do a yeah, Perth represent. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we'll just sit in the corner and high five each other. <laughs> how's, a, how's Smash Me for you, Kev? Really nice, because no jet lag. Oh yeah, yeah no jet lag, no jet lag. Uh, no, it's been so good. I mean, uh, obviously you guys have been doing such amazing conventions overseas, but uh, you know, I, I know that at least for some of us, this is our first convention back in a long time. Yeah. It's just really good to be back, so uh, yeah, just, yeah, I think... That person really missed the conference. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Everyone should be going, woo. <laughs> No, it's, it's great. It's really good to be back. Yeah, it's just been good to get like the convention vibes again and just a reminder that weebs actually exist and uh, <laughs> we're not just like a figment of our imagination online. They, they actually exist. And you know what? It's just been so nice because everyone's just been so happy. Everyone's been so positive here. Um, yeah. What do you think? Have you noticed any difference between England and Australia? Connor, Ooh. especially. What do you mean? Like the cons? 
Oh, just, oh, just, just, like a, just in general, maybe? Uh, but people are happy here. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. People are actually happy in Australia, which yeah. is wild to me. Yeah, so like, I remember like the biggest thing, the biggest shock I had this morning yeah. was uh, I was going downstairs to get ready. I go to the convention, I go into the lift, yeah. um, and someone asked me how my day was doing. And I did not know how to react. <laughs> I just said, oh, it's good. And I just sat there in the corner. And then the lift stopped at like level five. So some other people started coming in. And they just had started having a conversation. And me as a Brit, I'm just like, what's going on? People are talking in the lift. This is illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Australians are really good at asking questions that don't need to be answered necessarily. <laughs> you know, like, how's it going? Or like, how's the weather? Or like, you know, it, you don't need an answer. It's just like a conversation style. I, I did find something to complain about with Australia. Go on. I, I, apparently. I don't know why this is a thing. Oh. There's, a, there's a time zone where it's just plus half an hour. What's <laughs> oh, so Adelaide represent. Adelaide. <laughs> why? Every other country is like, let's just make it at least on an hour basis so it's easy to figure out what the fuck is going well, on. Well, not only do we have that, but we also have a thing called daylight saving, we which is basically, yeah, UK. but like that on top of yeah, the half an hour. So it's just like... Who's the genius? Actually, that's sarcastic, obviously. Uh, who came up with this half hour time zone nonsense? I don't know. I don't know. That was not it was Galileo, I think. Galileo. <laughs> <laughs> Time, what is it? Yeah, so how does daylight savings work? So it's always, like, was it Adelaide that's like half an hour ahead? And is it on like... So, the... no, sometimes it's half an hour ahead, right? Depends <laughs> uh, on the mood of the year. Yeah. <laughs> depends on the mood, right? So if there's a blood moon, Adelaide case 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, the time goes twice as fast when yeah, it's a blood moon. It seems dumb. I don't know. That's, that's the only complaint. I've, I've been really trying to find a complaint. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been really, really difficult uh, because... Yeah, why are you know, complaining about it? You're not even in Adelaide. I just, when I heard about that, I was just like, this is annoying. Why would they do this? Are people from Adelaide annoyed about this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I was annoyed four years ago. Not that he needed me to be. Yeah, another like another weird thing I've noticed since the few days I've been in Australia is like like walking around and driving around and being here for a few days. I noticed there was a lot of things called like VIP lounges, and I did not know what that was when I saw like the bright VIP lounge. I assumed that it was like a strip club. I thought sure. that too. And I was like, damn. Australians really love their strip clubs, don't they? I think they do. <laughs> they, they do. And then I, I don't know who I asked, and then someone told me they were like, "Yeah, no, it's a, it's a pokey." And I'm like, "Like yeah. poker?" Like, no, no, no. no like, uh, actually, depressing. did you guys want to explain? Because yeah. I don't fully get what a VIP lounge is. So I had to explain the difference between pokies and the crown to these guys last oh. night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I don't, like, the pokies are probably one of the most, I don't know, like, I, I'm not going to judge, I don't, but, like, judge your way, it, do it. No, it's, I would just say that uh, it's typically uh, associated with uh, people potentially down on their luck in life, potentially throwing away more luck in, uh, in <laughs> it's the... Like, it's like pachinko, right? But just for it's like pachinko, but somehow less fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's... A, As that's if that pachinko. could exist. Yeah. Pachinko is already really uh, Pachinko is already yeah. not fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they, they kind of hide it by being like, VIP lounge. I'm like, you're not a very important person if you're on a VIP <laughs> lounge. When I, when I looked into one, just one in the pub, I was like, this does not feel very VIP. This feels very the opposite. It's just culture, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, we, we, have, we have bad shit in the UK as well, don't worry about it. Oh, no, no, like in the UK we have something even more depressing, which is like corals, which is... What's that? So it's like... Pro like imagine the most depressing building you can think of because like imagine the VIP lounge except there's just no flashing lights or anything and you go there and there's about 15 different screens that old men bet on like horse racing or Formula One or any any kind of sporting event that uh, is happening at the time uh, and just people spend all day there. All, all day there. I think that's and just called a pub in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's breakfast I think. Yeah, <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> like good breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, honestly, I had a great time in Australia so far. Um, this oh, is yeah. this is mine. This is, is this your first time in Australia? Yes. As well? Yes. Yeah, I definitely like. I've only been here for you for a few days. Going to stay here for a bit longer to explore Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, but I already want to come back. You know, I feel like that wouldn't be enough time to see everything I want to see. Um, so. Yeah! I, think, I think I know why that is. Because the flight time to get here is so long that you just are too tired to go home. Yeah, <laughs> you got to take You're full stuck. advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's like a what twenty-hour flight from London to 
Oh, that was so nice. Yeah, yeah 18 perfect. hours direct to Perth, but yeah, you, oh you spend, to God. get here, you spend spending 24 hours in a plane. And the oh. gas canister are the oh. 30,000 feet. Yeah, <laughs> not fun. And even to Japan, it's like nine and a half hours, yeah, so which is deceptively far still, so. Yeah. Well, nine yeah. and a half hours is not deceptively fast. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> well, when you look at it on a map, it's like, oh, it's just, it's just there. Yeah, yeah it just like, looks small. Yeah. It's like Breath of the Wild, you'd be there in a week. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch four Jason Statham films probably. From Why the, would you do that? Because it's the only films that airlines have for some reason. Also, okay, I'm gonna go on a little rant about what airlines, not airlines, although I, I, I take up the full thirty minutes. Um, I, I've been trying to watch this show, mm. and every single airline has it, but not. They don't have season one. They all have a different season. <laughs> and it's like, this is psychotic. Because who goes on a plane and is like, oh, I want to watch only season three of a TV show. Right, right. It's, I just don't understand. I want to know why this happens. Because it's play like, airline bingo in order to get all of them. Yeah. to watch all of the seasons, I have to like, just guess which airline has it. <laughs> it's, it's a joke. You have to conquer all the airlines. So you're, you're finally able to watch it chronologically. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's awful. No, what's even worse is that some airlines, they just like, you go on and you, you see a TV show and they have not even a season, but it's like season three, episode four. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, who, who is watching this one episode out of context? Yeah, who gets on a flight and is like, oh, thank God, that's where I was up to. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I know. I've done it. Really? It was like a family guy or something. You know what the, <laughs> Because you, you know when you finish, like you finish the movie and there's 50 minutes left and you're like, wow. <sighs> What do I what do I watch? <laughs> and you're like, I'll find something, and it's not the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Even though I'm that is always doing, on there. Yeah. It's always on there. Always. And I'm not doing it. I'm yeah. not doing it. So I watch Family Guy, and I'm like, oh, I, I don't like Family Guy. It's, <laughs> it's, it's it's bad. Yeah, one thing I've noticed that is always on for some reason is that there's a huge array of films, but they always have the entire collection of Harry Potter on. Yeah. Yes. Have, you, have you noticed that? <laughs> what? Yeah, no, that, that just happened on every single flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. On every flight. Like, even the airlines with, like, the worst selection in the world, they will have, like, ep like I was, I was going to say episode, like, movie one to seven of Harry Potter. I'm like, <laughs> why Harry Potter? Why is it always Harry Potter? It's an amazing film series. There's only so many times I can see Harry not get with Hermione. <laughs> That's true. Oh. That was like a whole thing. It's like, oh, originally it was written for those two to be together and that it never happened. Right. That was true. That was the reference. I wasn't trying I, to. I don't know. JK Rowling really makes a lot of shit up. So. Yeah. <laughs> she said that on Twitter. And, uh, yeah. What, what was, the, what was the, the, the thing with the Harry Potter again? The poop, that we, like, yeah, the poop yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, don't, they don't use toilets, they just poop themselves and then they teleport. Do you know about this? Somewhere else. What is this? This is like an, like an actual this is, tweet. This is actually canon to the lore of Harry Potter, but like, I think, what was, it was like an AMA or something, right? No, 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 no it, was, it was just a tweet. Yeah, it was where, just like, where... Oh, they shit themselves up. <laughs> Like. Yeah, I believe like J.K. Rowling just like randomly tweeted out. Okay, yeah. so just just an FYI, even though you need that, that was like already no one asked. asked. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like no one asked. It was like like uh, like this is the fucking Wendy's here right now. Like, <laughs> nobody needed to know this, but she said that uh, before toilets were invented, they were just shit wherever they want and use magic to cloak the shit. <laughs> <laughs> or something along those lines. I just but, like to think like a fan was asking about like the irrigation system or something. Like, 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 like oh, how does it work? And it's like, I don't, I don't care. I think this is why they have all the movies on the flight so that we talk about it later. That's true. And come up with all these crazy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a marketing point. Yeah. <laughs> Joey's never watched it. No, that's, no, I haven't seen all of them. You haven't seen it? Wait, no, no. Which one have you seen? I've seen the first three. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I can beat that, because I've seen the first four, and then the final one. And that's, <laughs> that's not that much better. What? Why? Um, because I was on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Were you on that one flight where it's like, movies five to seven weren't available? Bruh, I just like read the cliff notes, I, I just like read oh, the spoilers, I was like, no. oh, I, want it. I just want to see, see how it At ends. least I didn't do that, I just, I just stopped at the third one. I've read up to the fifth one. Is that any better or? <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Just watch them all. Why it's so They're long? Great. They're really good. Do you guys like Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay, what's what's all of your favorite? Like, what's the best Harry Potter film in your opinion? Uh, out of the seven? Uh, either Goblet of Fire or Order of Phoenix. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Prisoner of Azkaban's pretty good too. I think Prisoner of Azkaban's my favorite. I like the all. 
What about you, Kevin? Have you seen Harry Potter? I'm gonna be the total normie musician here and be like, I like the John Williams one, so oh. one to three, specifically oh. three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, why, so why do you have like, my you have like the fanciest signature? Because I, I, we were signing some things and I was like, what is this like encryption like thing? I'm, I'm actually, I, I can show it actually. Because <laughs> I remember we were just in the we were just in the green room and we were signing a bunch of stuff and for some reason there was a used napkin. And I was just like, oh, let's just sign it for shits and giggles. And uh, I think Kevin's signature is this. I can't see that. Oh no, I, I, I thought that was I thought that was a TV. But uh, I don't know. You in the front row? No, they can't. <laughs> it's it, it's literally Morse code. It's literally Morse code. Where does the where's the signature? Yeah, where did you from? get that from? Oh, gin. Gin? Like, that's in like. Oh, you drank too. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'd like to think you just don't know what you're doing. You're just fucking. Oh, screaming. I don't. Know. I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you said the word like fancy, I was like, mm, maybe not. Uh, uh, it's it's fancy if I can't read it. Sure. Oh, in that case, I'm very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> you should see my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay. It's not gonna All work right. still. Cam let me, let me cameraman, see. zoom in on this. <laughs> Unless they have like a okay, one I'm billion. Sure I could have just gotten a piece of paper. Zoom okay. in on that. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, uh, that is Morse code. It's actually Morse code. Yeah. I'm writing it on a napkin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone take that. Someone take that. <laughs> Post it on the subreddit. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, how's it been traveling out of Australia? Because uh, you went to the UK recently. I don't know why I'm like asking you like an interview. You went yeah, to my wedding. I like this. Yeah, yeah. I was there, man. I took your boost. <laughs> no, uh, but we've all yeah, we've all been traveling pretty heavily for the first time in in, in a long time, and uh, yeah, we all caught up for the first time in um, in the UK, and yeah. uh, I got to sort of. I realized, yeah, we were, uh, you talked about it on one of the one of the episodes as well. It's like. Last time we met before we went to the to the UK, Trash Taste did not exist, and now you've done what 110, Ooh. near close to 110 episodes. Oh my god, is that what we've done? Yeah, too many. I too mean, yeah. many. Oh my god. Yeah, you, you helped a lot, and also you caused so much rage over so many bad takes. <laughs> <laughs> in the most lovingly way. What was the, the worst take that you'd heard on Trash Taste? I'm, I look, I'm I'm just gonna say, mate. Um, when you talked about New York pizza versus Italian pizza. <laughs> oh, Connor. Oh, Connor. Does anyone agree with me that, that uh, American pizza is better? Or am I, am I the other? Oh, yeah, there are no dozens idea. of us. Dozens. <laughs> yeah, Dude, Italians are queen. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this is the start of my villain hero. Yeah. 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 You but, know it was yeah. like a bad take when in MCM someone literally flew over from Italy to like give him shit over that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we literally had a dude from Italy flew all the way to London to be like, I heard you were talking shit. <laughs> he didn't even bring me any pizza. <laughs> the thing I, is, it's the, the least he could have done. Because Gant's bread arc is improving. His, his, yeah. his, his, He's like actually it, discovering yeah. bread. He's like coming out of the darkness. Yeah. Whereas I still feel like... You need some convincing potential. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fully aware. <laughs> I've had, I've been to southern Italy and I've had the quote unquote where it's the home of pizza and I was like, where are the toppings? They put like one piece of salami on it. I'm like, bro, oh, this was, this was 20 euros. What the fuck? It's not the quote unquote home of pizza. It's just the home of pizza. I think, I think if someone comes to your house at, you know, like one of those home improvement shows and they just make your house better, it's like, all right, well, just, I'm going to listen to them. They, they made your house better, you know? So they, they made the pizza better, and it's, it's amazing now. <laughs> Does anyone no, have any Italian no. blood that could come no. on stage right now? <laughs> no. I just need everyone to just... <laughs> I want the, I want the photo. Cries in Italian. I, I just think they do it better. There's no, there's no shit. You can make the thing and someone else can make it better. What the fuck? <laughs> Is this, uh, this is like the equivalent of, the, you know, the people you see on Twitter that, like, repost the art and be like, yo, I fixed your art, don't worry about it. <laughs> Sometimes they fixed it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like those, uh, you know when they have those medieval pieces, they get restored really badly. It's yeah. like that. I love those. That's the way I see it. It's nothing like that. It's like that. I just wanted to mention that because I really like those. 
I love it. They're like, yeah, Spanish uh, school teacher fixes 1,000 year old painting. And it's like, why did you entrust this to a Spanish yeah. school teacher? Yeah. What? Those are pretty funny, though, too. Yeah, like yeah uh, American pizza is better than Italian. That's the point. No, no. You all can boo me as much as you want. It just empowers me. <laughs> This reminds me of like your first special with the chess arc. Yeah. Because I remember we were in the lounge room watching you and Garnt go at it for the final. Yeah. And it was like you were on the screen and Garnt was on the laptop, the smaller laptop, because yeah. I was assuming you would win. Oh. <laughs> and then at the last minute, you just see like I, I, I'm. I feel so bad because I just saw the face, like after that was that was, yeah. that was a depressing moment. Yeah, yeah. That was sad. yeah. Let's relive it. Let's, no. let's relive it right now. What, a, what an amazing moment that was. Like, you know, in, like, in, a, in, a, in a stalemate. I also I also love how that entire tournament you had just an upset stomach, so you just couldn't stop shitting yourself. Yeah, I was like I was like, running physically, to the tournament, like, yeah. literally shitting. You were like in a full on JoJo, so you're like every ten minutes you're like I have to go to the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. It was so bad. It was so rough. Yeah, I remember like before our match star, I remember uh, like Connor posted in like the public Discord who was like you know, hosting the match and everything, just, just to be like, FYI, after the first match is over, I'm gonna need to take a massive shit. So can we make sure there's enough time for me to uh, empty my bowels before the next match starts? Because normally they just start the, the next match right yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. And then it I sucks. And then I remember I was waiting for that, I was waiting for that pause, and then there's like a one minute pause, and then it's just like a, a furious type to be like, start now, start now, we need to start now. It's like, get out of the toilet. <laughs> I don't know why they always wanted to start right away. It was really strange. Mm -hmm. I was talking about it in the context of your antagonist vibe. Your yeah, yeah. Potentially coming through with the pizza game again. I like it. Being the bad guy is the fun. That's like the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves a redemption arc, right? You know, I, I, I don't want redemption. I want to be the bad guy. <laughs> I like being the bad guy. He lives long enough to see himself become the villain. Yeah, no, I, I, I live to become the villain. <laughs> but what would be a, a positive take or a good take that might re start your redemption arc? I, <sighs> I don't have any. <laughs> sure. Are there any good takes on trash taste? I don't, I don't know. I, th I think, uh, I think uh, we would. Yeah. America bad. America bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think uh, a lot of people would disagree with that take. Uh, probably Americans would disagree with that take. The entirety yeah. of America would disagree with that. <laughs> well, I can say this as like the outsider, but uh, trash taste good. Yeah. Yeah. So we this need, we need, we need you to say that, by the way. Yeah. 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 See, Kevin brings like the positivity. We're just like all jaded men who like can't say anything positive. You, you, gotta, you gotta give Kevin a couple of uh, a couple of beers for him to finally actually start like talking bad about us. Yeah, you know, we're, we're all we're all friends here. We, we, all, we, all, we all know what happens when uh, you knock back a couple of James Squires. You know, a little uh, a little. Oh, you need. You know what? You need to try VB. Not not <laughs> not. Not for enjoyment, but for cultural experience. Yeah! What is VB? VB, VB is, a, is, a, is a beer, is an Australian beer. It stands for very bad. <laughs> um, and, and That's it, not Foster's? No, no. <laughs> no, fo no, I mean... Is it better or worse than Foster's? Ooh. That's like saying, which is better, poo or bath? Like, it's like, it's, it's, they're both pretty bad. They're both bad. Let's be real. I mean, I don't even, have you ever seen anywhere that's selling fosters in Australia? I don't think no, I've ever exist. seen it. Has anyone ever seen, like, do they sell it at a Dan Murphy's? Really? Why? Yeah. <laughs> it, it is, it is really bad, fosters. It is yeah. bad. It's really bad. Yeah. So that's our fosters. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, so is there like a chain that we should try here? Because like, you know, you go to England yeah. and you either have a Tesco meal deal mm -hmm. or Greg's. you have Greg's, Greg's, right? Yeah. You know, that's, it's not like, it doesn't mean it's the best thing you should try, but if you want to experience true British culture, you mm. would try either. Is there like an equivalent in Australia that we should try? Uh, you, you guys are shouting a hundred different things right now. Can, oh, you, guys, can you guys understand them? All right. Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks? It's rebranded Burger King. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, no I, got, I got one better. O Portos. Yeah! O 
Ordos is actually good. It's it's a re it's it's expensive as hell, but it's it, it's like uh, how do I, how would you explain a Ordos? No, idea. actually, I have no idea. Oh, honestly, just like go to any like chicken shop anywhere and just get like a chicken burger, and okay. it's the best thing you'll ever have. No, not Vegemite. Vegemite. <laughs> I've, I've tried that once, and that was one too many. Does 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 uh, your McDonald's here have any exclusive items? McDonald's. Silence! <laughs> <laughs> actually, no, I think oh, actually, know. though, uh, KFC has this thing called the Zinger Burger. No, we yeah! Yeah! Uh, hold on, uh, excuse hold on. me. That's, that's a UK original yeah. thing. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah. I've noticed you guys have been doing this. You guys are like you got to try this Australian thing. You'll just name a British thing to me. I'm like, I'm like, do you, you guys know? Yeah, except it's probably not as good as the one in the UK. Yeah, it sounds yeah, it's good. Good. It sounds like... fairy bread. Fairy bread. Fairy yeah. bread is your sugar bread. You're not special. <laughs> All right. You... <laughs> fairy fairy bread is some like prison food. It's like we couldn't. Bro, if I if I went to prison, they gave me fairy bread. I'd never want to leave. <laughs> That's oh. why you're from Australia. <laughs> Milo. Yeah, Milo's good. Yeah, Milo. My <laughs> Milo. Yeah, right. Milo face. Milo. 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 Milo cereal. Oh. Yeah, we. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna name all of the Australian foods all now. Wait, have, we, um, have you tried Rock On? The what? Rock On? What's that? What? Rock On these nuts? <laughs> saw that coming. I was just like, Connor's gonna latch on to this. I didn't expect Kevin. To do that. I thought Kevin was too... This is a professional anime comparison. I expected better than Kevin to come down to the trenches with us. Oh my god, I can't believe I fell for that. Uh, maybe somewhere out here you'll find a double I, I thought, I thought when you said rock, I thought you were talking about, um, like rock, like, no, like Rocky Road. Oh, well like rock on. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's no, 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 no. <laughs> Four wheels, Kevin! <laughs> I, I played myself on that one, I'm sorry. No, like the Rocky Road, um, yeah. the, 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 the cookie yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Those yeah, are, that's, that's, yeah, that's we got that as well. Yeah. Is it American? <laughs> it's American. Yeah, that's, I think that's American. <laughs> oh, Anzac cookies? They're Australian. Yeah. Concrete slabs, anybody? Yeah. Anybody like concrete? Yeah. It's the best, it's the best tasting rock you'll ever eat. <laughs> That's why Australians have all got chiseled jawlines, because we're just <laughs> eating anti cookies. Australians are really tall, I've noticed. Are they? Uh, yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. Uh, really? A lot of Australians are tall. You think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah, who said bunning sausages? Yeah! I've, I've, I've told you about this, right? The bunning sausages? No. It's, okay, so... Is this is uh, not going to be a these nuts no, no, no. no. <laughs> No, so we have we have a we have a hardware chain, like a massive hardware chain in Australia called Bunnings Warehouse. Oh, and oh I think it's like the Costco hot dog, right? It's being cute. Oh. Being cute. No, that's not no, no, it's better than the Costco hot dog. Oh alright, that's pretty good. No. Stop saying whoa. <laughs> what are you what are you talking about? Like I just said that Australia sucks. You did. You li you literally by saying Costco is better, you literally did just say Australia sucks. Uh, do, you, do you guys have Costco here? Yeah. yeah. Is it good here? No. Oh, yeah. There we go, yeah. that puts that to bed. I mean, you can tell because, like, when you go to Japan, oh like, when God. we first moved to Japan, Costco's I, so good. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, you move to Japan, you ask the locals, where should everyone go? And you think, you know, they'll have some really cool place to uh, recommend or something like that. But for some reason, every, the first thing anyone says is Costco. Costco's I'm like, I'm like Costco is a, isn't a Japanese only brand. Yeah, but Costco, but Costco in Japan is so good. Yeah, it's really good. It's and, really and, good. And in America, it's really good too. Yeah. I, no, but I no, it's I, no, it's either Costco or IKEA. No, IKEA sucks. <laughs> it sucks. You're all sheep. <laughs> the meatballs are really fucking mid. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's alright. The fact that people are like, we should spend a whole day to eat these mediocre meatballs. I'm like, <laughs> oh, for God's sake. No, but Bunnings, Bunnings has uh, the, the sausages, the sausage sandwiches. I do love sausages. They're, they're really, really good. He's a JoJo fan, I'm a big fan. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. 
But yeah, while we're down here in Australia, is there anything you guys recommend us doing or seeing in Sydney or Melbourne? A shoey. A shoey. Why? That is not an activity that uh, we approve of. What do you think? What do you think? Well, we, we, we've got a Sydney local, we've got a Melbourne local, so how about one? Are you, are you, are you from Perth, sir? Originally Perth. Yeah, but he lives in Melbourne now. Yeah, yeah but he's right. from Perth. Right. Enough. Um, so if, if, we had, if you guys could say one thing to do in either of your cities, what should, what should we do? <sighs> I mean, it's not the weather for it, but I mean, I can only think of just going to the beach. I mean, right? you say it's not the like, weather for it, but like, like every second I, person I, has apologised about the weather. It's been amazing weather. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, Brits, compared Brits. to the UK, for, yeah. For Brits, <laughs> this is beach weather. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I mean, be oh, my guest, try and go in the water if you want. I have but, a confession. I, I don't like beaches. What? Why? Oh, it's because you're from the UK and the I beaches just, are shit I there. Just don't, I don't like sand. I, I, the, I, hate, I hate to be the Anakin Skywalker meme, but he's got a point. Anakin has a point. It's <laughs> gross, it gets everywhere, it's a pain in the ass. I don't know, what, what's, what's there to do in Melbourne? That's good. In your is, I don't want to be like so normie and be like, oh, go get try the coffee or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. that's just like, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It is, it is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, like, you know what? Come over, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. I'll see. You. Yeah. Except uh, you're not coming over. Well, this time. Next yeah. time. I'll Next come time. back. I'll come back, guys. I'll come back. Yeah. You guys were just booing me like not not longer than ten minutes ago. I will say one thing is that when I heard Connor and Gunn, especially when Connor was like, I'm having a really good time here so far, and he just yeah. like, he stepped off the plane and just felt that like everyone was happy and he felt happy. Uh, then, like, just, <laughs> it was, I must say, again, like, a bit of Aussie pride, I guess, but oh, yeah. it was nice to be like, you're here and you like it, that feels good. Yeah, no, definitely, I've, I've never felt, felt more patriotic in my life, <laughs> to be like, yeah, it's really sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's our national anthem. <laughs> Shortest national anthem in the world. Uh, oh, we do have a good, um, actually, Bowman's a good drop bed park. <laughs> so what? Yeah. You haven't heard of this? I know, I know what drop uh, bear Where did this drop bear thing come from? Did everyone just agree to like make shit up and just like turn it to the world? Yeah. Is that, is that an Aussie much. thing? Yeah. Yeah, because like, I remember Joey telling me the story about when uh, he first came to Smash, like in 2018 <laughs> or something. Oh um, uh, yeah. yeah, I tried to, so Maylene, if you, as you all know, uh, our mom. Uh, when, she, when she was here with me at Smash uh, back in 2019, me and my, my friend from uni was this close to convincing her that the Australian currency was called dollary dues. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she, she gave like, like, really? Like, look, it's just like really trying to process it. And, oh. and it's like, yeah, 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 we say dollary dues. In her defense, half your names sound like children's TV shows. Like, all the signs are like, Billabong, and like, Flumpy Wumpy. And it's like, what the fuck is, who's naming this shit? <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know why you chose to have your currency be called Australian Dollars, when just, yeah. when just dollars sound so <laughs> much better. <laughs> I don't know, like, I can't remember when we heard of that word, but I, I thought it was, like, the actual Australian currency, because it just sounds so natural. I, cha I changed my Twitch channel points to dollars. Because <laughs> it's so good. We need to start calling it dollars, or dollar -y dues. But, like, every time, I, I want it to be, like, a thing where every time you interact with someone who's not from Australia, everyone just needs to try and convince everyone else that our currency is called dollar dues. I, I want that to be a thing. That's a great commitment though. Yeah. 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 Tacit agreement. Yeah. Yeah. So has anyone ever fallen for the drop bear bullshit that you guys always say? Yeah. yeah. Actually? Yeah. Are they American? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, so, it's so easy. <laughs> You guys have so many weird animals, I don't blame them. Well, yeah, I guess that's one great thing about Australia that I guess you guys experienced quite uh, early is that, like, our wildlife is crazy. Yeah. And in a great way. Yeah, yeah like, I, I remember these two were freaking out about the ibises. <laughs> bin chicken. The bin chicken. Bin chicken. Yeah. yeah, it's just so nice to see different animals that's just not pigeons and seagulls. And even your seagulls look more aesthetic than the ones we see in the UK. It's because your seagulls in Brighton are bald eagles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the, the seagulls here are like tame. 
The ones yeah. in the UK are like monsters. I yeah. mean, they're yeah. Huge. They, yeah. They can be tame if they want to be. They're yeah, like the size. Like they're, oh, they're, they're, I see, they're I much see. smaller here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, I guess because they have to, like, they're living on, like, the streets. They gotta fight each other in the UK. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're up against the are pretty thin as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, That's because they're up against the cockatoos and the magpies, so yeah. it's, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do they steal, like, do, if you're carrying food here, will they come and steal it? Yeah. 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 Actually, I got, I, I got a good one. Okay. Um, so we're having a barbecue. And at outdoor barbecues, all the all, a lot of these sort of parks have like sort of barbecue like sort of barbecues areas like sort of like in, like built into yeah, the grass. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. But um, I remember we were cooking some chicken, and my friend ate like chicken off the kebab, and a cockatoo, not a cockatoo, sorry, a, a kookaburra, actually came in and took it out of his mouth <laughs> as it was flying by, like cut his tongue and everything. Yeah, to the hospital. <laughs> What's a kookaburra? It's a kookaburra. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. I, I of don't course, know what that is. I'm going to try and make the sound quickly. I realize it's probably going to sound like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone do a cockatoo sound very quickly? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, See, there, there are some animals here that I'm just like, you're making this up. I, I refuse to, like, I don't know why you chose drop bears to be, like, the one that you try to convince everyone that's real. Because you could just make up a word, and I believe that it's, like, a real <laughs> bird here or something like that. No, kookaburras are awesome. When they, when they cry out, it sounds like they're laughing. Yeah. And, uh, so those, those little shits, they wake me up in the morning all yeah. the time. Yeah, it's the worst. What's the most annoying wildlife you find here? The cockatoos are really loud. Really? Yeah. Oh, the magpies, yeah. Mag magpies are like a menace to society here. Yeah. I, was trying to convi I was trying to convince Gart and Sydney of like the severity of like the danger profile of these of the magpie, and they just it, like it just was not computing. Like, how, I feel like they have to experience a magpie swooping firsthand in order to really know the terror of a magpie. Magpies the ones that steal like shiny objects. Am I crazy? You mean crows? No, no, no. Magpies. I, I, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure, sure they, they do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm sure think, they do. I think magpies do that. I, I'm just actually. I'm just they talking They also out just my swoop ass. you for no apparent reason. Like if you if you get close to the nest, they just like bugger off and then they just. Swoop I respect you for it. No how, how big are they? Um. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they can get pretty big, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. It's pretty scary. It's more about the sharpness of the beak and those devilly red eyes. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, like dark side force eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're really scary. Yeah. You haven't lived until you've almost died from a, <laughs> from a magpie. You and haven't then, lived until you've almost died. Yeah. Yeah. I want that engraved. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm not sure about you and I'm not sure about uh, anyone here, but uh, did you ever play a game where you used to run from like your school, like kind of veranda, to a tree and see how many times you could not get swooped and then come back? Oh, that sounds familiar. What was that? What? On, like, how chicken? bored were you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, how yeah. drunk were you guys, I should say, when you attempted this? Ten, so you yeah. know. Just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 just a few mornings, just a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, even like going to Joey's house and just like, just going on his porch and being like, Joey, what's that bird? Joey, what's that bird? <laughs> I just felt like a tourist, but it was great because you guys, <clears throat> you guys know every animal. I'm like, yeah. I'm, yeah, I can see why every Australian just like needs to be good with animals because you have so many of them here. Well, yeah, otherwise we can't survive here. <laughs> otherwise, they'd be like they would literally overrun Australian society. Yeah, but um, no, it's it's great because like my my parents' place is like right next to a national park, so we get like tons of wildlife all the time. Like um, very rarely we get like little rock wallabies coming up uh, into our backyard and stuff, but uh, they're really cute. Yeah. Oh you know, no, the other the other terrifying thing are the possums. <laughs> yeah, you've uh, yeah, possums just coming onto your porch and just uh, being a menace to society as well. They're a menace to like every country. <laughs> they are. They are. So it seems like every other animal here is a menace to society. They are. Yeah. Yeah. They are. It sucks. Lovers. The what? Plovers. Plovers. Quackers. Plovers. Oh, plovers. You guys are making shit up. <laughs> just saying words. Yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, you also went to a zoo recently as well. Yeah, right? I got, to, uh, got to hold a little snake. A, a, a big snake. It was a big snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, guy, snake. this guy milked uh, a snake, and it's not, it's not as exciting as it sounds. It's actually less. Uh, it's more exciting than it sounds, sorry. You think it's going to be like a dude like milking it like an otter? Because I mean, that's a snake. Yeah, just like, oh, let's, let's get all this slime out. Let's get. <laughs> And so this guy, he's the most Australian man I've, I've met up until we met another guy who handles wildlife. Why is everyone the most Australian when they're handling like a, a deadly creature? 
Um, it's a living. Yeah, yeah, he was just telling us, he had, we were in this enclosure, and there's a bunch of poisonous snakes, and they had ratings of how poisonous they were. Right. And apparently he was like, yeah, sometimes you open the thing and they jump out. And it's like, oh, that, what? This doesn't sound very safe. So he, he pulls out the snake, and then he has a little shot glass. And then he's like, yeah, so it won't actually bite the shot glass unless you put your finger there, because it's not fucking stupid. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So you just, you have to taunt it to play chicken with this snake that is, by the way, it has enough venom in its bite to kill like 4,000 people in yeah. one bite. And I'm like, this seems... How is the insurance company okay with this? Well, this... Why is you saying that same guy got bitten once? Yeah, and then and so he, he does it, he milks the snake, and then he does it. He actually does do a little bit of milk in action on the end. Yeah. After he, goes, he tries to squeeze it out. And wring it um, out a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he's like, you know, we go over and he starts showing us the anti-venom, and the little kid is like, oh, have you ever been bit before? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I have. And then he starts telling us about how, yeah, he was just like, yep, yeah, so I was in a coma for four days. <laughs> I was almost dead, something like that. He said he had to have adrenaline, and then he, he rejected the anti-venom as well. And it was just like, yeah, and then I came back to work the next day. <laughs> yeah, is that like, do you get like official qualifications to handle like no, I, venomous animals? Because it feels like the qualification is just to be batshit crazy. Yeah, yeah you know. That's, think, that's, that's definitely the first requirement. <laughs> and then the license comes after that. <laughs> I think there's a taste certificate in there. Well, yeah. they also told us uh, apparently in- That's a dark joke. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get that, sorry. <laughs> and in Sydney, apparently, you have to be uh, qualified to pick up koalas. Yeah, that makes sense. Why? Uh, are they dangerous? They're so fucking dumb. Yeah. They have chlamydia? You, you, can, yeah, you can get chlamydia yeah, I mean, you can't get it twice, right? So... <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 the that's the requirement. You have to get familiar once. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, <laughs> where is, where is, where is that was a gross joke. Are you bullshitting or is that a no, real no, no, thing? No, 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 it's true. It's true. What the? F <laughs> it's because they're like they're surprisingly really filthy animals. Well, they're pretty really, because. Don't they have to feed the babies their poop? Yeah, the yeah. baby feasts on the mother's poop. Oh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. no, 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 cool. you know, this, this is a segment. Cool. This is a segment right now. It's called like papping, I think was the word. I, I don't know what the term for it. I, I think it's is called gross. Is, is that what it is? Papping? Yeah. Yeah, okay, something yeah. like that. Yeah, but like I think it's because like the baby's stomach doesn't have like enough acid to like break down the toxins of the eucalyptus, yeah, so the like, mom has spoiled. to eat it first. Poop and then out. they and poop it out, and then the baby eats that poop. They're so really... literally, a koala is born. <laughs> so if you, so all I'm gonna say is, if you thought you had it bad in life, koalas are literally born eating shit. <laughs> like that's pretty bad. Well, it's so no different from North England. So. I don't think this is wrong. Like when they get high off their food source, right? Yeah. You get, yeah. yeah. So the reason they sleep 18 hours a day is because they're constantly high. Because the eucalyptus leaf gets them high, and that's their only food source. Yeah. It, they're really dumb creatures. Right? <laughs> they, they can't recognize the eucalyptus leaf unless it's from the branch. Like, yeah. If it's if it's been picked and someone hands it to them, they're like, Well, what if is you are if you are high 18 hours a day, you probably wouldn't be able to. Hide. I think if, if all I did was drugs, I would know when someone's handing me a drug. <laughs> So right. I, would, like, I would just be like, all right, fine, I'll gobble it up. Like, ko koalas are like an uh, example. Very cute. Yeah, our example of a species that if it, they were born under any other like generation, because they're cute as fuck, they would not be due to natural selection as well. <laughs> <laughs> they would be extinct, man. True. It's because, it's because we want to take care of them because they're cute as hell. Well, no, the reason why they're going extinct is because we, we turned up in Australia. <laughs> and we were like, Let's, uh, we need some rabbits here. Let's bring in some of our wildlife. Didn't you also see, uh, what was it, a cassowary? Oh yeah, I did, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're scary as hell. Yeah, I, you, we fed it grapes. <laughs> Apparently, they were like, it's safe to feed it grapes. Cause it, Is it? Yeah, because it would just eat the grape. That's, I would be terrified though. There's a big gate in the way, so it couldn't disavow. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> Oh, is that the one with the fucking talons and all that? Yeah, crap? is that a really big like? It middle... literally looks like a dinosaur. It, it really does. Yeah, it, it's pretty terrible. epic. Yeah. I did, and we saw a giant tortoise. Obviously, it was really hard. How me. delicious did it look? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. bro, I'd be salivating. <laughs> I, was, I had to, I had to like, every like two seconds in the stream. <laughs> and you would go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> it would be worth it. How many people in our generation could say they've eaten a giant tortoise named Hugo? 
<laughs> well, not, not for at least a few hundred years. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I want to try kangaroo actually, because uh, you guys were they talking about really that. They are really cute right? though. It does feel bad. Yeah. But they should be delicious. They're That's really funny. cute, but they're also really good. <laughs> what, what do they taste like? Kangaroo. <laughs> Did you know if, if you don't know what the meat tastes like, your brain automatically thinks it tastes like chicken? That makes sense. Did I think you know it's that? like a gamey veal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's probably You have a nuanced right. palate. Someone in the crowd has a child's palate. They just say chicken. <laughs> I was like, chicken! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, come I'll make chicken. it for you next week. Yeah. All right, awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's that? Witchy grubs. Oh, witchy grubs? Oh, no. oh, no. You can find them, yeah. They're little, uh, little uh, caterpillar-looking things, right? Little. Yeah. Slimy. Well, I wouldn't exactly say they're little, but yeah, yeah. yeah they're gross. Can grubs. eat ants? You can eat ants? Yeah. 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 I mean, you can you can, you can eat a lot of things yeah. technically, it's but would you want out. to? Is yeah. that a good you idea? Eat tarantula. Both. I eat tarantula. You can eat crayons as well. Oh yeah, we we are eating tarantula. You can eat crayons. Yeah. I eat glue. Yeah. Yeah. We should introduce him to the huntsman spider. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I've seen I've seen the pictures. Okay. I. I I, I'm, I'm fine looking at them from afar in an image where they can't move. No, that's fine though. They're cute when they get on your hands. I, I always say like Australia is just the PvP server. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's it's the wilderness in Bruce. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> it is. Yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like every time I talk to Joey about like eating kangaroos, he always goes, "Oh, did you know we're the only country that eats our national animal?" And I'm like, Joey, why are you guys proud of that? Why did you say that with such pride? Is that cool though? Like. We have two national animals, and we eat both of them. <laughs> hey, what's the other one? Emu. Yeah, you eat emu? yeah you can eat emu. Emu jerky. Is this like, is it like revenge for them fucking girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we lost, so yeah, like, we well, lost we the war. Girl. We lost the emu war, so we eat them instead. <laughs> He's got to get, like, the dodgy servo emu jerky. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, this, was, this was a very short podcast, because yeah. uh, normally it's, we go on for two hours, but we've only got an hour here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, like, I guess, half an episode of Trash Taste yeah. live. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, I hit myself. Sorry, just smack yourself. I just fucking hit myself. <laughs> But uh, yeah, guys, uh, we've had an awesome freaking time in Smash, and uh, yeah, if you guys would be so kind to have us back again, we would love to come back. So. Okay. And, and don't forget about the Trash Taste special coming out this year. It's our time. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is our last event here at Smash. Oh. Wait, sorry, I have really... Yeah, yeah, someone has... Can, can I have the, the Masterpiece book? Can someone bring it to me? Someone got you Masterpiece? Yeah, Masterpiece. Sorry, pass, I had pass, to, sorry, forward, sorry, pass it forward. He's, you better not do anything to it, Garn. <laughs> yes. I've been wanting this for so long. I'm, no, I am not licking it, okay? I've done that once, I've listened to Maylin, never again. Oh my god, yes. Are you want me to sign this for you? Sure. Okay, sure. But uh, can we also get some big, big love for the boy Kevin Pankin right here? Yeah. Absolutely that. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying before, uh, this is our last event at Smash, so yeah. we have no more scheduled stuff. But if you see us around Sydney or anywhere else, please feel free to come yeah. say hi. Um, yeah. And honestly, thank you for being absolutely fucking amazing. Yeah. Honestly, we've had an amazing time. Should we finish on a? Should we finish on a full chorus of Aussie, Aussie, Aussie? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. Like facing the Spartans. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the amazing Trash Taste and Kevin Pickett! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed the last panel.